Hello. All right. Um, we are reading a story, and this is back from when we were studying Iran. And I think the audio when we did this in class wasn't great. So I'm going to share this one again. This is a fun story. Let me see if I can get it so it's not glaring at you. Saffron ice cream. All right, and then I have to do it on my iPad because the pictures didn't show up when I had it straight on the computer. So technology is not working for me today. Saffron ice cream. Okay, it says, my name is Rashim, and this is my first trip to the beach. See if the camera will focus on that. Well, there she is, maybe back here. There she is in her apartment building. Says, oh, not just any beach. I mean to an American beach in Brooklyn. This is where I live now. So this is the United States, this is America, but she's gonna talk about her life in Iran as well. That's probably the Brooklyn Bridge. When I lived in Iran, I was used to, um, we used to drive to the Caspian Sea to swim. Very early in the morning, my mom would mix together wheat, turkey, sugar, and cinnamon to make Hallam for breakfast. I'll go back here again. There we go. So this is when she was, this she's remembering when she was living in Iran. And that sounds like an interesting food. Maybe some of you would like it. When we would pack into my dad's old car and head toward a very green and beautiful part of Iran called Shamal, we'd drive for about five hours listening to Persian music on the radio and stopping to eat a picnic lunch in the forest along the way. Sometimes I took along my friend Azada and we'd share a kebab. So remember we talked about how Iran is, used to be called Persia, and we still hear that name used a lot. So this is the country they were driving through five hours to get to the beach. That sounds crazy to us, huh? We have beaches very close. The beach in Brooklyn is called Coney Island. We're getting there by subway train, which is filled with all sorts of people and also has music, but no Azara. That's her friend from back in Iran. Oh, this is so glary. So this is the subway in the United States, back in Brooklyn. In Iran, the Caspian Sea looked endless, blue and beautiful. How will the sea look in Brooklyn? So the Caspian Sea, I should grab my globe real quick. We talked about it in class, but that's where she lived. Let me do that real quick, just because we can. So we're gonna head over, here's Iran in the Caspian Sea up here. So this is where she would have driven to visit. And she remembers that it was very beautiful and you couldn't see across to the other side because it's very large. Let's see. In some parts of the Caspian Sea, there are beach rules. So I knew what was allowed. In that part of the beach, big long curtains divided the sea into two sections, one for men to swim in and the other side for women. My dad and my brother would go to the male section. My mom and I would go to the female section. So here 
you can see the female section over here and the male section over here and this big curtain to divide the two. We don't have those. Oh, do, do. Let's see, my mom and I would go to the female section, which is the exciting part of the beach. It is like a big party. Women take off their covers and get a tan. Everyone was female there. Me, Azada, our moms, even the ice cream seller. There they are. Laying around on beaches just like we do in an ice cream cellar. But normally they would be wearing these covers and they don't have to while they're sunbathing on the beach in the strictly women section. One day I was swimming along with Azada when suddenly I noticed some little holes in the curtain. I could swear I saw eyes blinking behind them. Suddenly Azada saw them too and screamed, boys, boys, boys. Get them running away from the little eyes. Here, if you can see these little holes up here are the eyeballs blinking. Three little boys who had climbed on each other's shoulders fell down in the water, splash. Then the other women joined in shouting and jumping out of the water and covering themselves with towels, newspapers, and umbrellas. Yeah, I didn't notice this the last time I read. This woman here is covering herself with, I don't know what it actually is. It looks like a sandwich or two halves of a carrot or something, but there's newspaper and umbrella. So it's all chaos and there are the boys um, falling down. The Islamic beach guards ran to fix the holes in the curtain. It was chaos, but it was fun. Will it be fun in Brooklyn too? When we get off the Q train at Ocean Parkway, it is a fun chaos too, though I don't know anybody. Families of all colors stream from the red brick apartment buildings. The sidewalks vibrate with music and kids chase each other. Well, this is the chaos of Coney Island. Tourists and, and people that live there. A block from the beach, my mother points to a truck with a window in it and a small line of kids jumping up and down. Look, Rasheen, says my mother, an ice cream seller, just like back home. There's the ice cream truck and the kids jumping around. There's her family. There's Rasheen. Well, not just like, I think, but I wait on that line, hoping, hoping they will have the delicious saffron flavor Azada and I used to love so much. Oop. And saffron is a flavor we don't have much here, although you can get it. Sorry, sweetheart, says the lady in the truck window. No saffron. Would you like something else? I can't help it. I start to cry. I miss the Caspian Sea. I miss Azada. I miss everything. Hey, kid, try chocolate crunch. That's my favorite, says a sweet-faced girl with brown skin and a bright orange shirt. She is smiling. So I smile too and feel a little better. So here's the girl that's telling her to try, what did it say, chocolate crunch, right? Yep. There's Rasheen and the ice cream seller. Let's see if she likes it. Turns out chocolate crunch is a pretty good flavor too. I can't wait to write and tell Azada all about it. She's very happy. <laughs> you can see my computer in the glare, <laughs> sorry. She's very happy with her chocolate crunch. 
But first, we get to the beach, and my family spreads out blankets all together, men and women. The beach is so wide and covered with umbrellas and blankets and people. But there, not, uh, not so far, is the girl I met at the ice cream truck, and she waves at me. Where is she? Oh, okay. So there are families all spread out with umbrellas. I think that is Rasheen, right? And that is the girl from the ice cream truck. And then a couple other families. They have a cat. Did they bring a cat with them? Yes, they did. <laughs> There's the cat. <laughs> then I walk up to the girl and practice what I've learned. Hi, I say. My name is Rasheen. What is yours? Hi, I'm Asia. Want to swim? I look toward my mother and she nods. First, I have question, I say. I hope I'm saying it right. What are the rules for the beach? So this is them with the cat, a, crab, a couple crabs, some shells, and the two girls just running towards the water, holding hands. It's like a fun beach day. Good question, she says. My dad says I have to stay where he and the lifeguard can see us and not go too far out. Another important rule is, let's see, but here they are. You have to say there's the lifeguard, stay where the lifeguard and parents can see them, which are good beach rules, huh? Looks like fun. Another important rule is to have fun, fun, fun. I'm sure there are other beach rules to learn, but that seems like a good place to start. And there they are swimming with the cat. <laughs> I don't know a cat who swims like that. And that is the end of the story. Well, there they are driving back home. So, I think that's a cute one. All right. Thank you for listening. Bye.